we have a financial policy that is pretty much at the staff level. It has not been approved by our board, but we frequently talk about all of the elements of the policy and it revolves around maintaining the city's AAA bond rating. We have the, uh, the pleasure of, being, of having a AAA bond rating from three of the rating agencies. And so we work hard to maintain that. And so um, to all of the elements of our policy, uh, while they're not officially approved by the board, are discussed with the board uh, pretty often. Any time that we're presenting a budget or uh, any major capital re request, these topics come up. And uh, primarily, it's, uh, there are two, two real drivers there. One is the, um, is the, the debt service uh, coverage ratio, and the other is the cash balance. And our financial advisors have given us some guidelines about where they think we need to be and where they think we need to be headed. And so as we build our budget each year, those are two of the primary drivers. Right, staff drafted a, a policy in 2005, and it, I don't believe it ever went to our board for, for their consideration. But the elements of the policy are discussed with the board um, at, at least once a year when we're doing our budget and preparing um, preparing our, our rate projections and rate increase requests and, and that type of thing. But the, the elements of the policy, I believe, are fairly well understood by our board. Uh, they hear all the time from, from utilities and from other um, aspects of the city how important it is to maintain our AAA bond rating. And we talk about it in terms of, of not just the interest rate that we get from the AAA rating, but the advantages that it gives to us in terms of liquidity and in being able to go to the market pretty much any time that we need to. Our capital financing program is built around a cash flow basis as opposed to a project basis. So we're, <clears throat> we're dependent on going to the bond market and expect to be in the bond market uh, every year or two for the foreseeable future. So it's really important for us to maintain that liquidity, that ability to go to the market, and the ability, uh, the attractiveness of our bonds, and the uh, the AAA rating gives us that. Mostly, they came from benchmarking other AAA rated utilities and looking at the metrics that that um, that they have in place and how they got there, and um, relying heavily on the advice of our financial advisors. Uh, so I would say it's, it's the sense that our financial advisors have of the, of the bond market and the things that are important to the, uh, to the, to the buyers of the bonds and to the rating agencies and comparing our utility to the, to the best ranked utilities across the country. Increasing our debt service by being in the bond market so often um, and then trying to increase our debt coverage ratio certainly has an impact on rates because we have to generate um, that debt coverage ratio essentially becomes the driver for our revenue requirement, our total revenue requirement for the for the utility. And so if we had a lower, if we were willing to, to go with a lower debt service coverage ratio, our rates could be lower, but we would probably lose uh, our AAA rating. So the impact is, is that the the city, the utility, has made a, a conscious decision to, to, to increase that debt coverage ratio uh, while we, um, and, and then use that revenue that's generated to help us get out of the debt financing of our capital program. The advantage, there are several advantages to that. One is, is that it does give us more flexibility in the future about controlling rates on a year-to-year -year basis. When we're financing capital programs on a cash flow basis, we're really committing to sell bonds two or three years down the road, regardless of what the market looks like. And so when there's a downturn in the economy or there's a drought or there's some other, other event that has an impact on our ratepayers and on our revenue stream, we really don't have a lot of flexibility in, 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 in how we set our rates because we're, we're driven by that commitment that we've made earlier. So if we have more reliance on PAYGO financing for our capital, then we can slow projects down and have a more immediate impact on rates than we can when we're, when we're relying on debt financing to do that. When we're dealing with customers and rate increases, 
we talk about the AAA bond rating in the context of of the growth of the community and how important it is that the utility system keep up with the growth and how important it is that we maintain the integrity of the existing system and that we reinvest in it. And so we talk about it in terms of being able to finance projects and how important it is for us to be able to go to the market and borrow money at, at the best interest rates that we can and how that saves money. So I don't know that, that if you went and asked our customers what's the bond rating of Charlotte Mecklenburg Utilities that they would be able to answer that. But I think they would be able to say that that they understand that our system is fast growing, that we finance a lot of our construction, and that it's important that we get good interest rates on that financing. I would say that before you start working on a policy, it would be a good idea to define the goals and for the utility to, to make a conscious decision about what their financial goals are and then to put policies into place that will move them toward that goal. Uh, for instance, it, it's probably, um, well, it, it might not be a goal of every utility to be AAA rated because it does have an impact on, on rates and if you're not in the bond market on an ongoing basis, it might not be that important for AAA rating. But if you are a utility that is in the bond market all the time, like we are, it's very important. So I think setting, defining that goal and why that goal is important to the utility and then putting, uh, putting measures and metrics and, and policies and practices into place to reach that goal uh, would be the way that I would suggest approaching it.